అందరికీ నమస్కారం ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇట్స్ వండర్ఫుల్ టు సీ ఆల్ ఇన్ కరీం నగర్ ఐఎమ్ వెరీ సారీ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు స్పీక్ ఇన్ తెలుగు ఇట్స్ అ వెరీ వండర్ఫుల్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ట్రైంగ్ మై బెస్ట్ టు లర్న్ ఐ బి టాకింగ్ ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ దెర్ ఇస్ అ ట్రాన్స్లేషన్ నీడెడ్ ఐ రిక్వెస్ట్ యూ టు కైండ్లీ ఇన్ఫార్మ్ ఎస్ సో దట్ సంబడి కెన్ ట్రాన్స్లేట్ friends i am extremely delighted we have come to kareem nagar today to canvass to seek votes on behalf of a wonderful political leader bandi sanjay kar we all know there is a definition of leadership how a leader should be a leader should be from the ground he should reflect the people's aspiration and re- leader should be ready to sweat it out even to give their blood for a larger cause if you are looking at the history of india many leaders are created by fighters on the ground they are big fighters on the ground if you look at telangana politics for the last couple of years telangana has given not only a leader from kareem nagar it has given a leader for south india it is bandi sanjay kar fighter if we can say one person in telangana who was able to bring the brs government down it is bandi anna as a single person who fought fought and fought every single day he fought in fact tamil nadu our yatra en man en makkal yatra was designed based on bandi anna's yatra our team here i came twice to anna's yatra our team came to telangana they studied the yatra's model then our yatra yen man yen makkal was designed in tamil nadu such a great yatra which happened in telangana i never seen any political leader getting arrested every single day is getting arrested for one or the other reason not allowing him to do yatra he was the person who broke open the question paper leak scam he was arrested he was the person who questioned brs government on corruption he was arrested i think he was arrested four or five times he fought for you all he was the voice of telangana for a long long time now the only problem is the current congress government is much worse than brs government in tamil we say pay vendam endru sonnom goodam vandu vittad in english the translation is we did not want a devil but instead a buddha came so we did not want the brs it is a government congress which is much worse than brs which is in power now that is why brothers and sisters it is again very important bandi anna has to win with a larger mandate larger margin right now is bharatiya janata party is all india general secretary a very important organizational position our honorable prime minister narendra modi ji our national president jp nadda ji our home minister amit shah ji they wanted bandi anna to grow the party across south india now he is made as our national general secretary but all of us we need to be very very clear bandi anna is needed in telangana till congress is also dislodged from telangana he has to be the voice of kareem nagar he has to be the voice of telangana all the youth you have come here we all know bandi anna is a youth icon of telangana why do we call him a youth icon why do we call him a youth icon only because he reflects the aspirations of youth he reflects the aspirations of our thinking he stands up for corruption he stands up for family rule he stands up against the dynastic politics that is why the youth of telangana are behind bandi anna and even in this election it's a foregone conclusion whatever setting politics brs and congress they are going to do in kareem nagar bandi anna is going to win with a historic mandate once again from kareem nagar on may 30 when counting is going to happen on june 4 we all know the people of kareem nagar will speak in one voice that is the voice of bandi sanjay rettigar Brothers and sisters now one thing we have to understand 
during the assembly election also bandi anna was telling all of us that congress all the six guarantee they are not going to fulfill even a single guarantee you look at all the congress six guarantee they said if we come to power for each woman in telangana each mother each sister in telangana we will give 2500 rupees every month which is 30000 rupees every year they said each lpg cylinder will give it 500 rupee nothing happened they said for each farmer for one acre of land under the right to bharosa scheme we will give 15000 rupee nothing happened they also said for each farm laborer in telangana every year we will give 12000 rupee nothing happened they said pension scheme for old age people our grandfathers and grandmothers we will give 4000 nothing happened they said for each youth for their higher education we will give 5 lakh rupee nothing happened they also said people who fought for the agitation in telangana we will give 250 yards of land and people who don't have a house we will give 5 lakh rupee nothing happened the reason i am repeating the guarantee of congress that they gave during the assembly election because we all know that can never be guaranteed congress came to power only on lies you see the congress government after they have come to power the same chief minister revan reddy garu couple of months back he said modi ji bada bhai telangana me i want to bring gujarat model of development he said musi river we will develop like sabarmati river he said all those things now in tamil nadu we say somebody is telling lies we make them to sit on a donkey that is a punishment in tamil nadu especially in rural area when somebody is telling lies we make them to sit on a donkey we allow them to walk with donkey here the chief minister revan reddy garu since he is speaking lies he is roaming with a donkey egg since he is speaking lies instead of sitting on a donkey the chief minister is roaming around everywhere with a donkey egg in hand apologizing to the telangana people that they have come to power by telling lies to you across india including our state tamil nadu we have fasal bima yojana when there is more rain the crops got affected we will get insurance when there is less rain there is drought we will get insurance but in telangana state fasal bima yojana the insurance scheme of narendra modi ji was not implemented by brs chandrashekar rao ji he said this is a useless scheme now after congress have come to power including revendra reddy garu doesn't want to implement what is happening in telangana we are seeing a sad story the farmers of telangana the farmers of karim nagar the farmers of all parts of telangana they are on the verge of committing suicide the same congress party when they came to power they said the moment we will come to power we will waive off all farmer loan up to 2 lakh rupee and then he said on sonia gandhi ji's birthday we will waive off 2 of 2 lakh rupee for each of the farmer ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters here not only have they waived off the farmer loan not only are they giving 15000 rupee per acre not only the laborers are getting 12000 rupee per acre this congress government is a bundle of lie we all know other than 10 years of modi ji ka sarkar we are seeing the performance of modi ji government if some developmental work has happened in telangana it is only because of our four bjp mp under the leadership of bandi sanjay anna some developmental work has happened in telangana they were able to bring money from the central government to all parts of telangana so this election is a message we are going to give to the congress by winning all lok sabha seats including karim nagar that we don't want congress party in telangana we don't want a party that tells lies in telangana we don't want a party that is anti poor we don't want a party that is anti farmer we don't want a party that is anti woman we don't want a party that is anti youth my request to all of you in karim nagar it is important that bandi anna should win with a big margin now all the youth we have assembled here it is not important we go and vote on may 13th morning morning 7 o'clock 
Karim Nagar yesterday is 47 degree. Very hot weather. Karim Nagar is already hot. Now Bandiyana is there, it is double hot now. So political heat is so much in Karim Nagar. Now I am sure everybody in this hall, you will go and vote. But my request to all the youth, Bandiyana is fighting for your future. Bandiyana wants you to live in a developed India. Bandiyana is serving our Honorable PM Narendra Modi Garu to make sure Telangana will reclaim its past glory. Such a state, a resource-rich state, even during the British time, Mughal time, everybody wanted to corner Telangana Hyderabad resource because it is such a fertile area. After independent times to Congress rule and BRS rule, now each child in Telangana, including a child that is not born in Telangana, there is a debt of 1,25,000 rupee in each person's head. Such a great state, both the parties have made into a poor state. Now, Bandiyanna, Narendra Modi Garu, all of them are very clear that the youth of the state should live in a developed Telangana, where job opportunities are there, where farmers live happily, where all people live happily. For that to happen, the youth have to take up the challenge. We have five days. May 13 is the election. Till May 11, the pracharam will happen. I request all the youth here to take care of 100 voters starting from today. 100 voters, you know, they are not BJP voters. If really we have to thank Bandiyanna for all the struggle he has gone through. I can tell you, we covered a Padayatra in 234 Assembly constituency for 8 months our Yatra happened. It is not easy, sir. It is not easy. One of the toughest things a politician can do is work for the people. In Telangana, hot sun, I came twice for Annas Praja Sankarama Yatra. Two times I came. I saw the struggle, the sweat. Every time is walking in that crowd, in that public, everybody wants a photo. Everybody wants to walk with them. I could see the sweat. Very, very tough. He has put his body there. He has sacrificed so much only because he wanted Telangana to prosper. I request all the youth who are here to give back next five days of your life to Bandi Anna and Bare Jata party here. You got to take 100 people and convert them to vote for BJP. This is a challenge for all the youth who are sitting inside this hall. We want Bandi Anna to get 60% of votes polled in Karim Nagar. The remaining two parties, they can have 40% vote, no problem. But the people of Karim Nagar should give Bandi Anna 60% vote for everything he has done for us, for going through the trouble, getting arrested, his family getting insulted, his phone getting tapped. And even during the assembly election, we have seen the setting, how the IG intelligence himself, they played a role. Everybody together wanted to defeat Bandi Red Sanjay Reddy Garo. They brought the candidate. We all know it's a big operation that happened. I'm sure after the election, one day Bandi and I should share that story with you. Because they know both the parties they want Bandi Anna to get defeated. If only Bandi Anna get defeated, both the parties can loot Telangana. The youth of Karim Nagar should not allow it to happen. My sincere request to all the youth who are inside this hall, please take up this challenge. For a person who has worked hard for us, for a person who has sweated for us, for a person who was on the ground for us, for a person who fought for us, for a person who got arrested for us. My humble request to all the youth here is, please take responsibility for 100 voters. Starting from today, five days, go to their home, visit them, talk to them, talk about Modiji, talk about BJP, talk about the bad nature of Congress party, talk about corruption of Congress party, talk about the false guarantee. Convert one one person. You know he is not a BJP voter, he is other party voter, but convert him. Tell him that he is voting for their future. Tell mothers, they are voting for the future of their children. Tell farmers, we don't want one more suicide to happen in Telangana. Tell youth, their future should be in a safe hand. Tell all the human ayaka, they should live in a developed Telangana. My request to all the youth here is, please bring on a personal level 
the youth who are assembled in Karim Nagar, please bring 100 votes, 100 votes at your level, please bring to BJP party on May 13. That will be the greatest service you will be doing for the nation. That will be the single biggest responsibility you will be shouldering. The youth of this nation should not fold their hands and watch this election. The youth of this nation should participate. The youth of Karim Nagar should be in the ground. The youth of Karim Nagar should go to every house. The youth of Karim Nagar should meet all farmers. The youth of Karim Nagar should meet all mothers and sisters. Talk to them, convince them. Five days I request you to do only this work and bring all their votes to Pandiyanna. When the result is being announced, when the vote is being counted on June 4th, Bandiyanna should win by getting 60% of the total poll, by setting a new record margin in Karim Nagar. We should make our Bandi Anna to win from here. Brothers and sisters, I will tell you, Narendra Modi ji ka man mein Bandi Anna ka special place hai. Bandi Anna ka special place hai. May internal meeting mein dek liya, internal meeting mein dek liya. Delhi mein ek bar meeting hoga, national executive meeting hoga. Bandi Anna room mein ta, Bandi Anna ka pass mein mein ta. Narendra Modi ji bola, Bandi ji ab stage mein aao. Ye hall mein, ye hall mein, ye national executive hall mein aap, Telugu mein, 10 minute bashan kare. Telugu, you please understand, in a national executive meeting, when leaders from all across the country are present in Delhi, Modi ji called Bandi Anna to the stage. He said, he said, talk in Telugu for 10 minutes. He spoke in Telugu for 10 minutes about the Yatra, about the BRS party, corruption, family rule. Everybody pin drop, they listen. Because Modi ji knows, Modi ji knows Bandi Anna's emotion. So if there is one leader in Telangana who has completely captured Narendra Modi ji's heart, it is our Bandi Anna who is sitting here. Brothers and sisters, it is important when you send Bandi Anna to Delhi, you should send with a record margin. You should not just send him with a win. You should send him to Delhi as a member of parliament once again from Karim Nagar for the second straight time with a record margin. I am telling this because I know, I know. Every time Modi ji comes to Telangana during the Yatra, the final Yatra in Hyderabad public meeting, we have seen the enthusiasm. So this time in Lok Sabha, when we win majority of seats, we know next time we are going to come to power. This time we came very, very close. But next time in Telangana, it is going to be a BJP's role. In Tamil Nadu Karyakarta also, Telangana BJP is an inspiration to all the Tamil Nadu Karyakarta. For all the fight, for all the hard work you have put, for the Yatra, for all the struggle Telangana Karyakarta have gone through in the last many years, for every single Tamil Nadu BJP Karekarta, the youth and the Karekartas of Telangana are a big inspiration to our state. That is why we are very, very clear in South, immediately after the Lok Sabha election, BJP Telangana will come to power. The writing is on the wall. For that to happen in the MP election, you got to sweep this state, take Congress out of power, Give a punishment to Congress lies. Now BRS and Congress, we have to understand, to defeat BJP, they will join hands. Even if both of them join hands, we got to make sure our BJP MPs win everywhere. And especially our Bandiyana wins from Kariminagar with a very, very big margin. All the youth who are assembled here, I am very sorry once again. I am not able to talk in Telugu. Neither I am not able to speak in Tamil today. But I am speaking in English to you. But my emotions are your emotions. Your feelings are my feelings. And what do you think I am thinking? Because when Bandi Anna wins, we have to understand, I am saying this again and again, a common man wins when Bandi Anna wins. A farmer, we farmers jitenge, Bandi Anna jitenge, samaya mein farmers jitenge. Bandi Anna jitenge, samaya mein hamara mothers jitenge. Bandi Anna jitenge, samaya mein, हमारा यूथ जीतेंगे। 
बंडी अन्ना जीतेंगे समय में हमारा नॉर्मल आदमी लाइक यू लाइक मी नॉर्मल पीपल विल विन दैट इज वाई इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट ऑल ऑफ यू शुड वर्क हार्ड इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव डेज सो वी हैव कम हियर वी हैव गिवन सपोर्ट वी हैव क्लैप वी हैव गिवन स्लोगन नॉट इनफ सर नॉट इनफ द यूथ यू हैव टू टेक योर मोटर बाइक आफ्टर द मीटिंग इज ओवर गो टू विलेज नो अर्बन एरिया गो टू विलेज take tell our bjp president is here take in the voters list take one page there are 30 voters in one page where your vote is there take that page tell our president in your voters page where your voting is there you should meet all 30 voters at least five times in the next five days you should influence the 30 people for three votes you will get 90 you bring another 10 votes you will bring 100 so youth of karim nagar this is my humble request to you let us bring 100 votes to bjp to bandiyanna to modi ji because that 100 votes when we bring modi ji back to power modi ji is going to serve you for the next 5 years i am only requesting please serve modi ji for 5 days so that modi ji can serve us for 5 years i once again thank all the leaders who have come and bandiyanna it is very very important next 5 days we should not trouble eighth modi ji is coming 10th modi ji is coming 11th last day of prachara we should tell bandiyanna you please go and concentrate on other parts of state we will take care of karim nagar the youth should say we will take care of karim nagar we will work for you we will go to all villages we will meet people we will get votes for you you please go around the state and come that is the confidence the youth of karim nagar should give it to bandiyanna i am sure you will do with this i thank all the leaders who are sitting in the states our former minister is sitting in the stage along with us our district president who is our gangadi krishna reddy garu who is here our karim nagar district president is there i thank him and our bjp district president rajana sirsila patapa ramakrishna ramakrishna garu is there i thank him our bjym district president the man behind this function durshetti sambath garu is there i thank him our parliament prabari meesala chandraya garu is there i thank him our parliament convener bunnipalli pravin rao garu is there i thank him our bjym state president sivala mahendra garu is there i thank him our bjym national treasurer my dear friend sai prasad garu is there i thank him bjp state general secretary bongani suresh garu is there i thank him when we wanted to send leaders from tamil nadu to karim nagar i have personally sent as bjp state president tamil nadu one of our best leader from tamil nadu bjp karunagar ajanna to karim nagar our senior leader who understands politics we have given him one direction make bandi anna to get 60% of votes and then only you should come back to tamil nadu he is our best leader he knows politics we have sent him before joining bjp he was running a political party of his own that is the respect tamil nadu karyakartas we have for bandi anna we have sent karunagarajan ji our state vice president to here i would like to acknowledge him amar prasad tritti rao getty garu is a popular youth leader he is our states he is also like young bandi gar young bandi sanjay gar every time dmk will come and arrest him dmk ka bore hoga next day they'll come and arrest amar prasad reddy gar every time they'll come and attack him person who was convener of our yatra who takes care of our sports and youth so we have brought amar prasad reddy gar also here i thank him i take this opportunity to thank all the senior leaders who are here bangoni suresh garu mahesh garu yuva kranti garu shiva chandra giri garu chandu anita garu avar ragula raj reddy garu sachidhar reddy garu sri ramulu srikant garu mahan gali srinivas garu manuk kumar garu everybody who is part of this yuva sammelan i thank our media friends some media friends have come from tamil nadu state also so i could see some of my brothers who have come all the way from chennai i thank all the media people because we know you are supporting the right candidate with the right story because you know who is working for karim nagar and who is not i thank all the media friends who have come here and youth of karim nagar once again my request to you 
please start your motorbike after this function. Get 100 votes for Bandi Anna. Please take care of your page in the voters list. Make sure he wins with a record margin by getting 60% of votes in Karim Nagar Parliament. And we also have our Tamil Nadu Karikarta, Anna Trinavkar Savro. Last time, Mana Karim Nagar Parliament, which is Mana Yuadaku Marla Sri Alkotundi, Tamil Nadu Rasta Dekshulu, Sri Anna Malegarni, Manandar Kosa Marasi Kortana. Andrew Namaskara.